I'm with Sarah Michelle Geller, and we are gonna DIY these melted snowman cookies. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Nicole Farr from Darby Smart, an app where we make DIY easy and fun. I'm being joined by all my creative friends. Some are expert crafters, and some are not. Get ready to make talk. It's my favorite time of the year, and I brought one of my favorite people, Sarah Michelle Geller of Foodsters, and we are gonna DIY, bake it yourself, melted snowman sugar cookies. Like the easiest, super cutest sugar cookie. So, um, like everything with Foodsters, we can do these in how many steps? Less than six steps. Six, six simple steps? easy, simple steps, and it will look guaranteed Pinterest worthy. I love, let's yes. do. Okay, so first thing you have to do is bake the cookies, which, um, because there was no oven, we baked ahead of time. We call it so. magic fingers. Oh, so magic like, fingers. Doo -doo -doo -doo. No. Magic fingers <laughs> and sugar cookies. And these are our um, organic sweet tooth sugar cookie, non-GMO, preservative free, no dyes, high quality ingredients, and really easy to make foolproof. Easy to make, and I've tried, I've made them, and like really good. And you can't mess them up, that's the best part. Yeah. Because baking can be intimidating. It's it's math, it's science, it's you know accuracy, and I'm not usually, I don't fall into those categories. So we've really tried to simplify it and make it easy without sacrificing taste. I love it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Thank you. And wash your hands first. We did that too with the magic thing. Magic fingers. Um, um, and this is our um, organic glaze. So all you're gonna do to make these snowmen is you're gonna take just a little bit of glaze, not too much, although it doesn't matter because they're melting snowmen and you're literally just gonna, it's a little hot in here, so I'm gonna get a little bit more. And this is, dumb it down for me because I, I bake like with, basically with food stores only, but I'm new to this. Okay. Is it, we put this in the microwave for, you tell us how long and then here we go. You don't have to put it in the microwave, it's just a mix. Oh, it's just a mix. It's just a little mix, a little water, a little mix together. And then what you want to do is while it's hot is like let it just start to drip. Okay. So you just want to just put it on your, your snowman. There we go. Okay. Do a little more than that. Give it a big old glop. Get, get messy. Get messy. There That's we the go. whole fun. I always say it's like you want to, you know, you want to create, you want to use your hands. And since it's hot, it'll start to like drip and melt. And Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I love that, so I was singing Olaf's summer song. You know what I'm talking yes, about from I Frozen? Do. Like, the poor little man thinks he can't melt. Yeah, well, <laughs> this guy this guy can definitely melt. This is Olaf. And uh, these are really simple piping bags you can use. I think, I think you're good, you're melting. <laughs> I think you're starting to melt. Good. So then here's a little trick. So we take our organic marshmallows, and we're gonna do the face, so. And a trick to piping bags, I always tell people this, is you wanna hold it at the top, because sometimes it'll start to, even with a clip, it'll start to come up mm, at the top. Mm -hmm. So you just wanna hold it, and we're just gonna do, an eye, and then like a little nose, and then you could oh, do, is, so is your snowman, is he frowning because he's melting? Or is he smiling because he doesn't know he's melting? I think he's smiling because he doesn't cause know it's he's summer melting. and he doesn't know. He doesn't know what's going on. It's my dumb little snowman. So why'd you start Foosters? I've, I've heard you say that if you were to like start a career, your first one ever, you actually would have done baking versus acting. Is it true? Well, my first career I wanted to do is I wanted to be a photojournalist, but that didn't work out very well for me, and I think Diane Sawyer kind of had oh. that covered for Lack me of already. Like, yeah. Lack of photo skills. <laughs> lack of photo skills, <laughs> lack of um, probably current events knowledge. Well, I just, I was really inspired by my children initially. When I had kids, you know, I was aware of how important being in the kitchen was for them. It's fine and gross motor skills, it's math, it's science, but more importantly, it's about connection. Yeah. And I feel like we spend so much time doing this all these days that we're losing this. And being in the kitchen is the one time when you really put your phone down and you connect. Whenever, you know, you, you go to a party, everyone winds up in the kitchen. When you first start dating someone, I what do. do you do? You go to dinner, you introduce people, like that's, that's that common thread, that commonality. It's and like relationships with food. Exactly. Right? I mean, that's how they're formed. So here, give a nose, because I'm going to the arms. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to multitask. This is, this is going to be interesting to see how this goes. Uh, so this when my kids showed a lot of interest in baking, I wanted to do it with them, but I was surprised what was on the market, that everything had all these chemicals and ingredients that I yeah. knew I didn't want to eat, I didn't want my children to eat. Um, okay, so we're going to go back to the arms for one second. So for the arms, we're going to do just a little line coming out for one arm. This is so cute, I want to flip it around and show now, but he's still melting. Oh, this is adorable. Yeah. And the trick is, we need a really skinny tip on our piping bag. Yeah, you don't even need a tip on this one. This one you just cut really small, and then a tip um, to make the scarf so that you can see the difference. This yeah. is, if I was left-handed right now, this would be a really good position for me. <laughs> oh, that's um, fine. So then I put a tip on this one, um, and you don't have to, you can just cut it wider if you don't have a tip. We make things really easy. Um, but this is to make the scarf, and the trick to making the scarf. And you're going like a U and a U. Yes, exactly. And then yes. I'm gonna crisscross, so his scarf is a little, there we go. So are you in the kitchen every night? We are, I mean, we make dinner, we, you know, that's, and we built our house that way. Like our house um, is built around our kitchen because that's where all of the, the magic happens. 
that's amazing. And maybe not, all, maybe not all the magic, but but a lot of the magic. Where a lot happens. of my magic goes down. It's in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, and your husband's also like into cooking. Different style. Different style. So he went to culinary school. So he had the real skill and the confidence. And so I think it intimidated me a little bit even more to get in there because I thought, how could I compete with him? But then you realize it's not about competing. It's about the time and the engagement. So we found that there was a sort of lack in the market. There was either um, these ones that tasted good but were really bad for you were salt and kept, see that's, yeah. That's, there, there, that, that's there. why I put your hand up top. Um, or there was ones that were maybe made with better ingredients, but it sacrificed taste. And I love food, and I'm not going to sacrifice taste. I believe everything in moderation. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm going to have a dessert, like, it's indulgent. I want it to taste good. I don't want to, you know, be like, well, it's a healthy brownie, but it tastes like, There mm. we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe we should clean it up. cookies. Oh, it's all fun. good. It makes it fun. It's messy. So what's your favorite sort of, like, brownie combo right now? Like, avocado? That's gray. Um... I'm a traditionalist, I have to tell you. Like, I'm old school. I like just a good brownie pop. Like, I mean, I think if you put it on a stick, it always tastes better. Okay, here's my scarf. Everything on a stick tastes better. Plus, you eat it sexier. Ha, true, good boy. <laughs> okay, and this guy, my, this next guy is gonna realize that he's melting. He's not happy. He says, oh no, I'm melting. So I have to stop because I'm so freaking proud of my little snowman here. Like, he looks great. And I think this is forced, so like, bake the cookies. Uh, decorate your marshmallow, make the arms, make the scarf. This That's is, it, uh, this is, oh, and drizzle, like get wet here. And take a picture and put it on your Instagram. Snap that. Yes. Okay, this is, this is just honesty. People like my baby pics the best, and I feel like I'm pimping out my babies because I share these pics. Do you ever feel this way? Okay. I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start putting pictures of your kids on my Instagram <laughs> and see if my feedback gets better. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. But it's like my life, right? So I'm sharing it, and then I'm like, this is, this is so but odd. But you think about that time. It's so hard. They, you know, they're so busy. They're on their iPads. They're doing all this. And like, what are those moments when that they're gonna remember when they grow up? They're gonna remember the time that you were in the kitchen and made melting snowmen. Whether they came out great, they melted. It's, it's about the experience, and I think that's, that's really important. It is, and it's easy way to spend, like I, I'm always looking for like quality ways to spend time together, right? Yeah. So we're like at the playground, of course, but like that's it's why I love crafting. It's, Even if like it doesn't come out well. It's not a, it's, you know, the end result I always say is a bonus. If it tastes good, if it looks great, but it's just about that time and I think that's, you know, and by the way, I always, with crafting with friends, like I, I'll i drink a wine on a Friday night with my girlfriends and we'll do craft projects for school for next week and yes. it's one of my favorite things to do. It's wine and wine and craft nights. Wine and craft nights. It's what go. I want to do on Make Talk one time. We are doing this. I, I'm, I'm down for that night. Wine and Count craft me nights. in. Okay, so real Rose, deal. Rosé all day night. Rosé. <laughs> 24 hour rosé. No, and that's too, that's too much crafting, but we'll do, we'll do 12 hour rosé. So the real deal is, like just single hand, I feel like my technique is single handed piping. Hey, everyone's got their own technique, but with single handed, you're gonna probably come out the other side. I'm really going, I'm really going out the other side. I know, what is it? What am I doing wrong? Well, because now we open that one up. Oh, okay. Let's see if you have, because. So it's just not my fault. Okay, I'm gonna try something from okay. scratch this year. I'm inspired. How's my man? Um, your man's looking good. I mean, I think these men are looking pretty good. These are good, right? I oh, I say. forgot. I forgot arms on this guy. By the way, maybe his arms already melted. Yeah, they're gone. All of the steps are below. Foodsters mix you can get on their website, foodsters.com, yeah. right? And we're doing an exclusive kit for you guys from Darby. Uh, we'll send you all the deets. So excited to have Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. And look for my pictures of her children coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see you next time because we are crazy holiday right now. Is you are all over me? No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it like mm. tastes better that way, doesn't it? I like it. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the house now.